morning world, day after elections, back to normal life, on with it. As quickly as possible, this video is for Kathy, Paula, Mike Oskopinski, Noah, Paco, Kamini, Charlie Windish, Crystal Washer, Dash, Dana Schweitzer, Stephanie Gorman, Lydia DeRosa, Ashley Sheets, Lisa White, and Katie Von Dungeon. All are people who recently, or over an extended amount of time, have been asking me how they can get involved, what they can do to help out with MBK, my brother's keeper, and uh, looking for more information. And you, anybody else who I haven't mentioned that might be interested in getting involved with us and changing the world. So, three years ago, I was on a vacation and invited into a small shack and spent the night, several nights, sleeping on a cement floor with a couple in just a little teeny amount of space. And it changed my life. And so, the rest is history. From then till now, um, started with nothing, scraping, crawling, cr scratching, and asking people for money, $5 here, $10 there, to help me do more for these people. And so within three years, now we have grown to become an integral part of the entire community. Um, from the president down, friends with and working together side by side with um, all aspects of community development in the community. So here's a quick list of things that we are currently doing, just to inform you. We have a seamstress school for women who are learning how to make clothing, pillows, curtains, and this is all from donated sewing machines and supplies from you guys. We have a women's collective group a business that we help start braiding hair and baking bread. Sambo Creek TV, a new online TV program that a group of youth, of young adults are starting and getting going to keep America and the Garifuna of people in America um, in tune and connected with their community back home in Honduras and seeing what all kinds of activities and projects and, and news is going on back home. Plant Priest, School for Agriculture and Horticulture and Permaculture, Ethics and Principles, and um, it's a group of women and young men that we have um, learning hands-on in a gardening school and then we also have a huge piece of land that the community just put into our hands to steward and take care of and these ones being trained up in the school will go with us next to phase two which we go onto the land and start putting the principles into practice and, and designing a huge uh, innovative project in the community that will draw tourism in. Um, we have a feeding program that we've been working on for almost, a feeding center that we've been working on for almost the last year, which is pretty much finished. We've been feeding kids just about every day for three years. So right now we finally have an actual center to, to move that feeding program into. We have a, a church that we are actively involved with down there and uh, trying to help them any way we can in building projects and uh, getting youth um, together for youth groups and stuff. We have a church that I actually planted in an entire, uh, in a house in the middle of a neighborhood. And the whole neighborhood is actually coming together and, and building community. All the kids are involved, right, 30, 40 kids in several households. Music program, we have a studio, we have 
a kids choir. We have um, several artists that we're trying to really cultivate and teach how to play, record, and get creative with their talent. Construction projects, we're always doing construction projects right now. We're in the middle, or about two thirds of the way through with the biggest one we've taken on, which is a house for 16, 12 kids and four adults. And we've done several of them right in the same area. I also teach English in the local public kindergarten. And then in another town two hours away, um, a program that we do teach in a mix of English gardening and Bible study. So these are all the constant things that we have going on. And uh, it's, it's ridiculous how much we're doing with so little. And so here's the thing. I'm, I'm at my limit. I can't do any more than I possibly am already doing. I've been at my limit for a long time. And in order for this to go farther, I need to hand my brother's keeper over to a group of people that can represent it and take it to farther than it is. And I'm just an individual, I work for the organization, and I'm really looking for, I have nobody here in America representing us, or working for us, or organizing things. And I have a million connects over here to do events. I have people with awesome locations and people that will help out in so many ways, but I can't do it. I can point you guys in the right direction. I can brainstorm with you and give you ideas, but I need people willing to take the ball and run with it. And uh, I'm looking for to build a team right now, four or five people that are passionate. And it, you don't have to do it every day or anything. If you got a, some spare time each week, you know, a couple hours a week, a couple days a week, whatever you got. But if you even have the seed of interest that you're interested in being a part of, something big that can change the lives of many people. When you talk, you gotta think about in the future. Right now I'm changing the lives of a good group of people, but in the next generation that's gonna trickle down and multiply. So, you know, you can be responsible for a wave of change that sweeps over a, a community. And it's, I can't really describe it to you until you feel it for yourself, but I'm looking for people that are looking for to get something more out of life than just sitting around watching TV, uh, fumbling around Facebook, and, and you want to see fruit from your life, your life being productive and, and having an effect and making a difference, a significance here. And uh, so if you're interested, any of you guys, right now I'm trying to get with you and, and see how serious you are about getting involved. And then uh, really it's all about taking the initiative on your own. You getting the information and becoming acquainted exactly, you know, feeling comfortable that you understand MBK and, and the history of it and what things we're doing and what goals and vision we have for the future. And then being able to take that information with your own passion and get creative, whether it's setting up an event, whether it's approaching people and soliciting for funding or for donations of things, or just getting creative amongst yourselves. You know, this is going to be a community that we're trying to start, whether it's four or five of you or 20 of you, that within that nucleus in that that group you guys can brainstorm and encourage each other and and take ideas seeds and cultivate them with water and light and let them turn into something bigger and I've been inspired recently by a group of people doing doing some uh, campaigning and some charity work for another organization third hope in Uganda and I'm like wow that's what I need I need people that are willing to say, hey, let's put on an event. Hey, let's go make up flyers. Hey, let's go do this and that. I can't do it anymore, and, and I'm about to get married and all these different things. Like, I need you guys in order for this to go any farther. So contact me, and let's meet up. Let's just get serious and do something. Um, Friday, November 30th, we're in downtown Kissimmee at Quokka Coffee on Main Street. Artists, live painters and art show live music I'll be performing come out and show some support but 
if you're not in the, the list of people I mentioned and you're like, wow, I can, I would like to do something, I would like to help Dan out with this, contact me and um, let's do it.